the state of being unaware or unconscious of what is happening. Unconscious, insensible, stupefaction, senselessness. These people are calling you stupid in their movie title. If you don't look in their movies, on their cartoons, or what they're putting out there, you then you guys are oblivion. You guys are stupid. Y'all don't know nothing. So these are the secret titles they're telling you. They're putting things in front of your face. If you're unconscious, you're not aware, you're not going to know. I'm going to reveal to you all how to prevent and heal yourself of any plagues with the Bible scriptures. Okay, let's open up the Bible to John chapter 14 verse 9 and no wait, Jesus said unto him have I been so long time with you and yet hast thou not known me Philip he that hath seen me hath seen the Father and how sayest thou then show us the Father believe thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, in the Father in me. Or else, believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask, anything in my name I will do it if ye love me keep my commandments now the Most High sent his son down to teach us his ways the Most High son is telling us to keep his commandments now we just read John chapter 14 verse 15 remember it states if ye love me keep my commandments now if you click your blue letter bible.com click it on the internet the word commandments for that passage i just give you you have end up in greek 1785 and for that word commandments it will say ethically use of the commandments plurals commandments in the mosaic law so that's the ten commandments and all the commandments that moses gave the people in the wilderness that it shows you that christ telling you to honor it i don't know why these preachers keep saying no you have to honor it remember if you honor the ten commandments you love the father and if you have the Father in you, then you have the Son. If you have the Son in you, then you have the Father in you. So if you have both inside of you, how can you get sick? You understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's move on. Now let's read Mark chapter 6 verse 1. And he went out from thence and came into his own country. And his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. So Christ taught in the synagogue when it was Sabbath day. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? 
Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and of Judah and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. This also prove Christ has sisters. But Jesus said unto him, unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and amongst his own kins and in his own house. So Christ taught on the Sabbath. This proves you keep the Sabbath. Even more further, go to Matthew 24, 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the, in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Okay, I want you to go to the Matthew 24, 20. And that word you see Sabbath, I want you to look up that word in accordance. The number will be Greek 4521. It will mean seven days a week. Okay, let's read Matthew chapter 12, verse 10. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be amongst you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? Christ was trying to tell them, you can do good deeds on a Sabbath day. Let's continue on to verse 12. How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore is it lawful to do well on the Sabbath days? There saith he to the man, stretch forth thy hand, and he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole like as the others Christ was saying the Messiah was saying it's okay to heal and do good on the Sabbath okay now I'm gonna read the last verse of the scripture this is gonna prove to you just like the wind and the water they have their own spirit just like the disease and plague have their own spirits remember when Christ stopped at the wind from um, destroying the boat, he to hold its peace. All those things are spirits. Okay, let's read Luke chapter 7, verse 21. And in that same hour, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of evil spirits and unto many that were blind he gave sight so all these plague and diseases are spirits of their own they only could do what the most high tells them what to do then jesus answered said unto them go your way and tell john what things ye have seen and heard how that the blind see and the lame walk the lepers are clean cleansed the deaf hear the dead are rise to the poor the gospel is preached and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Meaning that only the Messiah through the Father with the Holy Spirit can heal you of all plagues. So this is the antidote for you guys to prevent yourself from getting all types of plague in Ebola. And to heal yourself from it. This Ebola thing, I think this is more on a spiritual warfare type of power. I believe you have to do this with only... The Messiah help is stated in Luke chapter 7 verse 21 to verse 23 that only the Messiah with the Father's power he cured people of plagues so plagues can only be cured by the Son with the Father and the Holy Spirit not no healthy diet now that you know the truth of how to protect yourself and heal yourself of any plague 
teach your kids this and teach your loved one these secrets about the Most High Commandments. Remember this. Sun gazing, astrology, witchcraft, voodoo will not protect you or cure you or heal you from these type of plagues. It would just make things worse. Remember to keep your guard up. For these people that work for the government, they would put other type of news on TV to keep your mind away from the Ebola. So when you're walking, you don't know what will hit you. Pop! You am dead in the streets. And don't believe these scientists claim to have been healed of this Ebola. Those are ancients that want you to trust them to give you some type of vaccine that has the Ebola to kill you out. There ain't no man on this earth gonna heal that. Only the Father can. That's all I wanna say. Shalom.